everybody, welcome. This is Lexi over at the Podunk Paper File. Look at these cool cards that I found yesterday, okay? These are a massive deck of cards. This is a normal size deck. This is a massive deck. I also got these super cool, awesome ones from Walgreens. I found these guys at Walgreens. So, because I had these awesome, cool, giant, magnificent beauties, I wanted to create something with them. And so what I did was I created like an altered playing card. I made a window with it, did some sewing and decorating, and I'll show you how I put these little leaves in here. And then with the piece that I cut out, I just slapped a piece of scrap paper and drew some lines on it. And now I have something to tuck and another tuck or whatever. I could even just glue this down to a page or whatever. This is beautiful. So let me show you how it's done. Um, what you'll need is a playing card. Any size is fine. Um, this is just, uh, it was a, it had something in it. I don't know what, but um, I saved these for this very reason. You'll need one of those and then scissors, you know, cutting to cut with and what have you. Okay. So now there's two ways to cut this picture frame out. The first way is you could grab your craft knife and, you know, cut it out like this using um, a ruler, but it's really slippery because I have this glass mat under here, so I don't really love that method. I don't want to cut myself. And so what I did this time was I just grabbed my um, cut and score board from We Are Memory Keepers, and I basically just grabbed this and cut a window out. And I'm not really picking a size. I'm just kind of going for about the same on both sides because, <laughs> you know, I don't want to sit here and stress about something like that. You know, we got time for that. So my pink hair is gone. I um, It has completely washed out. Um, I actually... It got to the point where it was like almost gone anyways. So I took some Dawn dish soap and baking soda and just finished washing it out. And then I put a toner on it so that it could be back to blonde. All right, so once you've cut this out, um, I wanna show you up close and personal. You can see that I have made mistakes and I don't care. I'm not going to stress about those, okay? And then I'm just gonna put this one to the side for now and focus on making this guy. So the first thing that you wanna do is, since this isn't tall enough this way, you wanna measure how big your plastic is going to need to be. And I am going to leave this part that is already connected intact and this top part that's connected intact as well because it'll just be easier to glue it all together in the end for me. But if you don't have that and you're just using like, you know, plastic wrap or something like that, um, then don't worry about it. Okay, now I'm just making some marks where it needs to be cut and I'm gonna cut it on my trim and scoreboard because this thing is the best. I'm also gonna just trim off like, not the part that's holding it all together, but right above that. See, can you see? I cut that part off. I'm gonna cut this bottom, cut the bottom off. I'm just lining it up on itself. No big deal, it doesn't need to be perfect. And then going down this side here. So what I have created with this little bag is this little tiny pocket, okay? I have this little pocket here. Um, what I put on in this was some dried leaves that I bought off of Amazon. I either got them off Amazon or Wish or AliExpress, I don't know. But um, they come in these little packages like this and it's like uh, dry, it's like vacuum shut. Um, anyway, I'm going to pick ones. Now, what is that? I hope it's a maple leaf because <laughs> it's gotta be, because there's another one in here, but I think that's kind of funny. I don't wanna use it, because I don't wanna look like a little pothead, you know? 
Ugh, no, I'm just gonna, I'm not interested in that. Okay, this one is lovely. I love this red color. And, ooh, pretty, this one's really pretty. Those two together, yes. Maybe just those two. Do I want anything else on there? I could put this guy. I don't know, I think I just like those two together alone on their own like that, okay. So now I'm gonna just slide these back into their little home. You could also just put like a sticker in here. You could put um, like a drawing, a uh, watercolor paint, like um, anything. You could take this heart out of the center of it. You could cut this heart out and put it in there and then the heart could just be hovering in the middle. Like that would be cool. I almost want to do it, but I still want to show you how to make that other thing. So, okay, now the next thing that I did was, um, I'm just gonna measure it, make sure it all fits, and it goes around. You want to leave enough space, about a quarter of an inch on each side, so that we can glue it to the back before we sew it all down. Okay, and when I'm using is Fabri-Tac. I'm just about out of it, finally. <laughs> um, and I'm going to very carefully, very lovingly, put some Fabri-Tac on this guy. Just the best that I can. Um, not too much, because you don't want to be able to like see it. But if it's there, you know, it's fine. Okay, and then just open up your little thing. I hope you can see this. I know it's kind of hard because, you know, this is clear. But, okay. All right. Whew. There is one in there. We got her in. Okay. And then this next one we've got to put in too. It's, I keep saying okay because it's rocket science. <laughs> okay, there we go, pretty. Those two together on their own, looks wonderful. Now, on the back you can kind of see where we've glued it down now, but it's fine. And you don't want it to move around too much or else you'll get like a spot, I don't know if you can even see it. Um, right here, I have some glue that I can see, but I don't really mind. Okay, and then, now that we've got that, um, we want to glue this together on the sides that aren't already glued together. And this part is a little bit hard for me because you got it, you ha it's hard to see. Um, so I'm pretty much guessing where this glue is going. <laughs> and I'm trying to do the very, very edges of this so that, um, it, it, again, it doesn't show through to the other side. Okay, so there's one side. This side is sort of done. But there's like this edge right here. Okay. All right. So, again, it's not perfect. I, I mean, I'm making a mess here. I'm like a child playing with glue. And now... What I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this to the back and I'm trying to center it to a point where my leaf isn't touching on any of the edges. So it looks like it's like just hanging in the window. And then I'm gonna take my Fabri-Tac and go right around the edges of the card like this, just a thin bead. And pretty, pretty easy. It's just kind of tedious the leaves are tedious. Okay. There we go. And glue that down. Now before I go crazy and start uh, start to I'm sorry, what am I trying to say? Before I actually sew this, I want to let it dry a bit. So 
that's why I started to decorate the front. So I tried to put stamps down on these cards, but the stamps just kind of smeared. And that's why it's got these like black spots around here because they were stamps. And then I smudged them. And so um, I'm gonna probably not do that this time, but I will, maybe I'll take my dauber and kind of just emphasize this window a little bit. Cause that coating that they put on the outside of the card is not on the paper on the in, inside of the card, if that makes sense. And so we can just put some of this down and it'll give it a little emphasis. Pretty, okay. Now, the next thing that I added was a butterfly. And I've got some red and green colors. I have a dragonfly right here. Let's see if this, um, I want something that's gonna stick out a little more. Let's see. Yeah, that blue one looks good. Green one's pretty too, but I think I'll just go with this blue one. And you just, okay. And I just kind of let it be on over the top of all of it like that. Okay. And then, okay, what's happening? Where am I getting oozage from? Okay. Um, and then down here, I put this really cute little heart thing for some texture. And so um, I got these at Hobby Lobby, I think. They, they look like this. Um, they're really cute. You can get them for like two or three dollars, but I don't wanna make these two the exact same. So to switch things up a little bit, I think I'll just put some really pretty lace right there. And let me see, what lace do I have? Oh, this lace is gorgeous. Okay, this is some lace I got at the antique store. And then I'll just trim some off. Oh, can I go across? I don't know, I don't want that much, I don't think. But if we put it and it was like overhanging like that, that looks really cute, I think. So that's what I'll do. So I'll put it down like that. I'm gonna put the Fabri-Tac right on this and hope for the best. I'm just kind of placing it around. And I know I want it to hang off the sides, so there we go. Do I have any? Scoot this up, and there we go. That's better. No fabric tack hanging over the edges now. Okay, and then I have these cute little sunflower stickers that I got. Um, let's see. What did I do with them? I just had them out. But I also got, so I got these daisies, and then I also had gotten these sunflowers. Um, I think I like the sunflower here more. And I think I'll go with um, you, maybe? And you, maybe I'll do two of them. I think I like this one too. No, I changed my mind. Okay, so we'll just keep that one like that. And then once we go around with the stitches, it'll look like finished and complete. So I think this looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Should I add anything else? Oh, I have another sticker right here. I used one of these like washi stickers like this. Um, let's see if I have another black and white one because I really like the way that that looks. There we go. I 
I have a little tiny bit right here hanging off the edge. I'll just snip that with my little snippers. Maybe. Maybe, baby. <gasps> I'm going to Vegas in like 18, 17 days. Something like that. Can't even freaking wait. <laughs> it's not coming fast enough. I'm going nuts. Love my kids, but need a break. Need mom. Mama needs a break. I'm not gonna lie. My daughter um, has a buildup of gastrointestinal acid in her stomach right now because she has stressed herself out to the point that her body overproduces acid and it makes her extremely sick. So the last two weeks have been like hell for her. Um, she's been so miserable and so much pain. She doesn't want to eat anything because she's afraid to eat anything. So she's stressed to eat, which causes her to stress and create more acid, which causes her to feel worse, which you know, then creates more stress and, you know, and we all just keep going round and round that right now. And it's, I just feel terrible for her. I don't know what to do because there's not much you can do. The doctors just wants and wants her to eat and start to get everything regulated. And yeah. Okay. So that looks really pretty. Now this one does have those black spots on it, but I'll just leave this one clean and we'll see how that goes. And I'll sew it in a minute. Um, now for this part, I used the back, um, these cute little cherubs, and I grabbed a piece of scrap paper out of my scrap bin, and I just glued it down. So now I can use this one, or I could use this one. I think I'll just use the plain white because it's cute. And I grabbed my Scotch Create glue stick. Oh, and if you don't know what Fabri-Tac looks like, this is the bottle. I like Fabri-Fix the best. But Fabri-Tac works just as good. If you can't find Fabri-Fix, this is good too. I learned that recently. Okay, and then I'm just going to go down on my card. Right onto the card. Make sure you get the edges really good because you want to make sure that it'll stay down on the edges. And then just slap your paper down on there. And you can go right up to the edges so that you only have to tear the other two edges. Um, now, um, you can like go around and do like a sanding block or something if you want the edges to be really nice. But my friend sent me the most beautiful journal the other day and her edges weren't nice and I really liked the way that that looked. Like they were, they were messy edges. I don't know like how she did it because I've been trying to but I can't get it done. Anyway. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the card itself to rip itself out and then I'm going to leave these ed edges looking a mess. But these ones will be perfect because I lined it up because I can't help myself. <laughs> All right, so go around the edges with some black soot distress ink. Black soot color. This is the one I got off of Amazon. You can also get the distress oxides. They work pretty good too. I just like the inks. I like them both, honestly. I just, whatever, whichever one I grab is the one I use. And then I added a sticker, a stamp, and some lines. So let me find a cute sticker. Um, that one's pretty, yeah? Okay. Oh, what time are we? 18 minutes, I'm doing good. Okay, so there's a sticker. And we need a stamp. What should we put up here? Unbuttoned from my shirt. Okay, sorry. So what are we gonna do, a word? Okay, I'm gonna get out this because it's been my thing lately. Hang on, let me put you back, okay. You are, today was, remember when, what does that say? I can't tell. Okay, I might actually have to stamp this one because I really don't know. I think it might just say love. Love dot dot dot. Uh, I love you because, oh my, happiness is. Happiness is will work. These little card things, like if you can find really cute ones, these are the bomb. Because you get so many words in one little thing. 
Okay, now we'll draw some lines. I just used the Sharpie permanent fine tip marker with a ruler like this. And I'll draw some lines so somebody can write about what happiness is to them. I'm just avoiding the sticker, but I want to fill in the empty space, you know, so I'm trying that. Little technique. Give the owner some extra space to write, and maybe they'll put a little something, something, you know? Okay, that looks really pretty to me. And then I think I rounded these edges. Um, but either way looks really good. I don't think I'll, well, I guess I could. Let's just do it. I have this crocodile corner chomper and I just am using the half inch side. So there's two sides. The half inch side does a bigger arch and the quarter inch does a smaller arch. So for example, here's the quarter inch side. Okay, and here is the half inch side. See the difference there? So I was using the half inch to make it really deep like that. Woohoo! All right, now I need to sew around this and I don't know how I'm gonna bring you guys over there. Um, this is gonna be interesting. <sighs> okay, well, let's see. There I am, sorry, you don't look. Don't get sick. Oh, you're probably upside down. Okay, let's see. Can you see my messy room? Okay, there we go. It's probably as good as I'm gonna get. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with uh, uh, just a straight stitch and I'm gonna lengthen the width of the stitches. So instead of them being really small, I want them a little bit longer so that they can um, not tear the paper because paper is pretty thin. And then I'm just gonna start about, I am lining up my foot, this side of my foot with this line that I cut out to go around the first edge. And I am gonna back stitch here. And then with your needle down, lift up your foot, turn, and then put your foot back down. Whoa, hang on. Nobody asked for your opinion, Miss Lace. Okay, oops, and then make sure your foot's down. I used to make quilts, that's why I have this really nice, um, sewing machine, which I still like to make quilts, but I prefer junk journaling, so this has been fun to have. I need to probably get it serviced. It's about due for a tune-up. Yep, you need to tune up your um, sewing machines. They have like oil and moving parts and things like that. And with all of the lint and stuff from sewing with like fabric and things, you need to have it tuned up. They recommend, I think once a year, depending on how much you use it. I've had this for three or four years. I probably need to. Okay, so I don't, I don't really know where you're pointing, but this, I went around once. Um, the other one I went around twice, but I made this window a little taller. So now I'm actually gonna switch over to a, um, zigzag stitch and I'm going to zigzag around the edges and I'm going to make my zigzags wider like this further apart from each other and this if I do it this way they'll be this longer this way and then like I don't know stitch length length and width and whatever um I don't think I'll back stitch and I'm sewing my right, when it hits on the right side, it goes right to the edge or off of the card. <laughs> okay. 
here just to complete the stitching and then I'm gonna back over where I began okay so here we have this and I'm gonna okay don't get dizzy close your eyes because we're gonna go a little crazy here okay hopefully that worked out we'll see in the end but Okay, so what we made is an altered playing card we have a beautiful window um, some stitching you can glue this down into a journal, you can use it as a tuck, and then for the other part of that card, we used it to make a cute little tag to put into a journal. So if you find value and you like hanging out with me, um, hit the like button below, subscribe to my channel. Um, I like having new people and I like to show you whatever pops into my head. No, they're not all my original ideas. Everybody, I mean, there's a million people that have done a million things before me, but I just enjoy your company and, and it's fun to get a new perspective of things every once in a while. So that's why I am here and I'm here for you. So um, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and I have an Etsy store. I only have like three things in my Etsy store right now, but just look up the potent paper file and I'll be there. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. It's Sunday. I hope it goes good for you. Bye.